So as I think back on my life, there were really two teachers that made the biggest difference for me. One was Dave Corcoran, who was my high school history teacher at Catlin Gable School in Portland, Oregon. And Dave was terrific. Um, he was personable. He was engaging. Uh, he had a PhD in history, and he would have been really been the darling of any uh, uh, small liberal arts college program that he went to. But he taught uh, high school juniors how to write, and he taught us U.S. history. And I wondered about this, you know, why he did that, why he took us so seriously. And I think his idea was to get it to us while we were young uh, and teach us the, you know, this important life skill of really understanding how to uh, defend yourself in words, how to make an argument. And uh, Dave was kind of a quirky guy. Uh, he had edited so many history papers over the years that he spent more time on than I'm sure we did writing it, that he had these stamps made up with the comments that he made over and over, like uh, relevance or remember the question or things like this. And he would stamp them on the paper so that he didn't have to write it out. And uh, I think back on that time in my life, it was frustrating because I wasn't a very good writer. But Dave was really the one who taught me how to write. And he taught me how to think, too, and how to stand up for myself intellectually. And uh, my most recent book, I dedicate it uh, to my high school history teacher, Dave Corcoran. The other teacher who made uh, a huge difference in my life was Rich Edelstein. Uh, I found Rich in college when I went to Wesleyan University. And just the same as Dave, uh, Rich you know, cut from the same cloth. He was engaging. He was funny. Uh, he gave brilliant lectures. But the most important thing that he did was engage us in conversation and really listen to what his students had to say. And I always remember that a lot of his teaching was one-on-one -on -one because he always had a line out the door uh, uh, and he you know, wouldn't go home until he'd seen every single student. And he was just so personable and he exhausted himself teaching, I'm sure. And uh, it wasn't even done when the day was done because I remember, because I was from Portland, Oregon and Wesleyan's in Middletown, Connecticut. I didn't have anywhere to go over Thanksgiving. So he invited me to his house for Thanksgiving dinner uh, along with other students who didn't have anywhere to go. And I had been going back to his house the next 30 years where I got to know his wife and family and you know, brought my uh, wife and children and we really became part of the family. So that was just a wonderful experience for me and taught me what kind of teacher I wanted to be.